Hello guys and welcome to the lesson 8 of Make Sure is 101 course. In the last lesson, we saw how you can use the pre-made public templates from Make Stories and how you can create your own template sets using Make Stories. Now the next thing that we all want to do is add the text to our stories. We have seen how to set the image as a background. So now let's do one thing. Let's try to create a story on San Francisco. So I would just search for San Francisco and this way we will also get a, a revision, small revision of the things that we did till now. So I'm going to set the image over here as a background of the Golden Gate Bridge and I will double tap it and I will keep it this way. And since we have um, like since um, San Francisco is all about the orange color, we will try to use it at the maximum. So now uh, we have the image added as a background. And then the next thing that we would do is we would animate this image by doing a small zoom in animation for 10 seconds. And I will just play it again so I can see that I can the image is zooming. Okay, cool. So now if you want to add the text element to your story what you will do is you will go to the third tab which is called the text it has a t written over there and it's pretty much uh, visual and you can understand it so now over here you will get six options for the header tags then one option for a paragraph tag and then one option for a span tag so this is basically h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 h6 the p tag and this pan tag in html we are going to use the h2 tag and here i will write things to do in san francisco i will just change the color you don't have to worry about this right now because we will do a separate lesson on how to do all the formatting when you use make stories i will just center align this and now again we have now you can see that the text is not that visible so i will have an overlay here what i will do is i will try to use the uh, orange color that san francisco has here you can see that there are few colors so these colors are extracted from the image that you have on your canvas. So this is the same orange color that is on the Golden Gate Bridge. So I will click click on this endpoint which has the black color and I will select this. So now you can see that we have a beautiful orange overlay over here. And I, uh, since we are using the uh, text a little bit on a higher side, I will try to increase the range of this scrim. So you can now see that we have the scrim all the way go going up to the middle of the slide or up to the 40% of the slide from bottom. So now we have added our first text. On top of that, we will add a paragraph text over here. And here we will type San Francisco is a beautiful city on USA's west coast again i will center align this and i will change the color to white and you can increase the width with this and then you can center align these things so to center align you will click this and you will uh, use the center uh, we will we will get into de um, detail when we in the future lessons now i will add another supporting span tag over here at the bottom and say story by pratik Gela. and i will change the color to white again i will center align this so now you can see that i and i will increase the font size a little bit to make this more um, visual and So now you can see that we have this 
thing done and over here if you have your own logo you can add it at the top left i will try to pull in my logo let me see if i have one it seems i have but this is all text so let's not worry about it okay we don't even have it so i got on that one okay so you can add a logo at the top if we want to do that i will also add another one over here at the top and i will just copy this color i will paste it here and then i will reduce the intensity for this and i will also reduce the opacity so we have a light orange color at the top and it's not very loud and i will try to okay so now you've seen that we have this thing we have added a header tag a paragraph tag and a supporting or a span tag now what uh, if you want to see the preview you can just click on save changes and you can preview this over here so you can see the image is zooming in and then we have this just as we are seeing it on the canvas uh the reason you are seeing it a little uh, it be uh, a bit a little bit slow is because uh, this is at 86 percent. So if you change this to 100 percent, you can see the real dimensions that you will be seeing in the store. The second thing that you have when you go into the text tab is called as the font combinations. So we have tried to create few font combinations for you. So maybe you can use them. Uh, if you don't want to do all the formatting by yourselves, so I will use this one. SF city guys, okay, let's add this. And let's try to find some text about San Francisco. You Let's say I want to in the United States. Sorry. Now I will go into this. And if I, uh, if you don't want to have uh, the formatting applied and you want to keep this formatting as it is, you will do command shift V. So you can see that the San Francisco is the 16th populous city in United States does not have the formatting from this particular section. Okay, so I now I will change the color to this. So you, this way you can add the elements, uh, text elements from the left panel. Now there is also a shortcut to add a text from the tooltip. So when you do this, you, it will add a heading tag. If you click it again, it will add a paragraph tag. And then if you add it again, it will add the paragraph tag. So this is predefined over here that the first time it will add a heading to tag and the next time you click, it will add a paragraph tag. So with this, I think we are done with how to add the text elements on your story. Please see we are not done with the text formatting. We will dive deep into text formatting. What I am trying to do in the initial lessons is I am trying to cover up all the options that we see in the left bar. So we, we are done with the backgrounds, with the templates and the text elements. We will revisit this entire right panel. So don't be worried about it right now. I will get it to it in detail in the future lessons. In, okay. In the next lesson, we will see more about layers.